guys, it's MJ and welcome back to Pet Adventures again. So today I am doing a video that was kind of highly requested by some of you guys. I thought it was a really great idea for a video, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Today we are going to do some reviews on my favorite products. And because a lot of you guys were asking me, um, you notice the stuff that I have in the back a lot of the times. The two things that you guys usually see are my fishies, uh, sometimes you see my rat cage, and you also see this beautiful little shelf that sometimes looks unorganized but sometimes looks great. So uh, a lot of you guys wanted to kind of have me do a review on a lot of the pet products I have and if not a review just kind of like generally what I like to use for a lot of my pets. So we are going to do that. I'm going to literally do a review on a lot of things that I use for my pets on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, that kind of thing. Before I officially start, don't forget to check out Pet Adventures merchandise on PetAdventureShop.com and Spreadshirt.com. We have all kinds of really great themed shirts. We have brownie shirts, Oscar shirts, waffle shirts. We'll have Phoenix shirts up before you know it. And we have the all pets design that you guys have seen before on PetAdventureShop.com. So go ahead and check those out. Also, don't forget that if you want your pet to be shown here on my channel all you have to do is submit your pet videos to petadventuresconnect at gmail.com so they can be a part of the adventures cruise show so today we are doing a review on a bunch of products so no time to waste I know I talk a lot I do a lot of this so So the first thing that I decided to review today, not in any specific order, is the new, uh, this is probably the newest product I've recently gotten, and it is the Pangea Banana Crested Gecko mix that I am currently using for Waffle. So I really like this brand, Pangea. Some people use either Pangea or Rapashi for their Crested Geckos. So very simple review on it. Um, most of the foods that I have fed to my Crested Gecko he has loved, but I, without a doubt, I definitely would have to say that he truly, truly, truly loves this so, so, so much. Um, I'm really glad that I got this. He goes bananas for bananas, and um, I definitely recommend getting this. Now, every Crested Gecko is different, so they may like different flavors, but... Yeah, I really like this. So if you guys are looking for a new brand of Crested Gecko food, whatever food it is, whether it's homemade, Pangea, Rapashi, I really suggest this because it definitely is awesome. And I put a little bit of calcium in his mix and let's talk about the next product. The next product I want to talk about is for my fishies. And when you get fish, you have to have a certain dechlorinator. There's all kinds of dechlorinators on the market that dechlorinate your water to make it safe for the fish and in my opinion I've leveled it down to two which is prime and ultimate now both of these are great water conditioners ah! I really enjoy overall ultimate now prime is also great it really depends on what you're using it for but generally I used to use prime for all of my tanks and now I use ultimate and the reason why I like ultimate is because it's not as concentrated so it's a little bit less damaging potentially to fish now I'm not saying that if you use prime I know prime is a lot easier to get a hold of and it's a lot cheaper and it's usually in the pet stores it is really great if that's all you can get at the moment like at the pet stores I highly suggest prime I've been using it for quite a long time so prime is definitely my go-to dechlorinator but I would have to say that ultimate is definitely my ultimate use. Where's the title? Either one of these are great, but I truly love using ultimate. Now, ultimate is great if you have betta fish or something that's in a smaller tank because again, it's less concentrated, so you can kind of do a little bit more than maybe you're comfortable with if you wanted to for an extra preventative to make sure that your water is fully dechlorinated. So I definitely recommend this. And Prime. Next toy is one for my raddies. Now this is an older toy that I got a while back when I first got my rats and if you notice dust in the area that would be from this. Um, my review on this is personally not so good. 
Most of my rats that I've had have never had a real use for this. Uh, they're supposed to chew on it and, you know, kind of fiddle around with it. It's, it's a really huge, quite big toy. It's a big bird toy. This is a really great toy, kind of like looking for a decorative thing in your rat cage or even bird cage. But personally, at least for rats, I did not have a good experience with this. Um, it's very cute, so again, if you wanted to use it for a decorative use in your cage, at least for ratties, you definitely could. But I have no good reviews on this. You can see, like, there's been a couple of bits where they chewed on it, like right here and stuff, but they got bored with it very, very quickly. And overall, at least with both of my rats, um, I even tried to give this to Lucky one time. I had it in his cage for a long time, you know, when he was in the bigger cage. So I don't really recommend it, but that's only because for my personal use, it wasn't that good like none of my rats were that interested in it so big no-no on that one for me now the next thing that you guys always see in the back here is my oxbow you guys have been seeing my oxbow lately and this is the new line of oxbow it is the garden select without alfalfa so if you've done any research into the stuff that they used to use in the original oxbow formula it did have it did contain alfalfa in it and alfalfa is not good for radish it's not good for the radish overall i do like this but i would have to say that it's kind of a no-go for me now garden select is not unhealthy if you're looking for a very healthy brand for your radish and you want to try something new maybe you need to get the weight off of your rats because this did help one of my rats that was actually borderline obese this is a good product overall but I am going to say that it's kind of a in the middle for me because overall I'm a big supporter of Oxbow. Oxbow as a whole is my go-to brand for all, almost all animals. They don't make it just for rats, they make it hamsters, they make it for bunnies, they make it for, you, you know what I mean? Like. It's just, there's just so many Oxbow brands out there. They make it for chinchillas. So overall, Oxbow is my go-to brand. I love them. They are the healthiest brand that you can get for rats and for a lot of other types of small animals and such. But this particular brand is kind of in the middle for me. I'm still trying to decide if I still want to use this or not. I really think I'm going to switch back to one of my older brands, the Regal Rat Mix, which still doesn't have alfalfa in it, so that's good. This did make one of my rats lose quite a lot of weight. I don't know if it's just because it's like super healthy and it just made him lose a lot of weight or I really think it's the fact that it tastes too veggie for him to enjoy so he doesn't eat it right away. One of my rats has become quite fat over these past few weeks because he loves to eat this but personally it's in the middle for me because it made two of my rats lose quite a lot of weight. Uh, one of them needed to lose weight, lucky he was borderline obese and <laughs> Luckily, this helped help get the pounds down on him, and I really like the weight that he's at. But when it comes to Oscar, Oscar lost a lot of weight. So this is in the middle for me, but overall, Oxbow is a great brand, so if you have small animals, you definitely should buy from them. Next I want to talk about is for my fishies. These are the algae wafers that I recently got. Now, we use these for Pletco, so any bottom feeders that you have, like Pletco's and such, these are absolutely wonderful for them. Uh, Pletco's need algae. That's an absolute fact. They need algae. So if you don't have algae in your tank, you really need to be going to get algae wafers. And I just love this stuff. Now, this is by Hikari. I'm a big supporter of Hikari and most of their brand products for fish. So this is the algae wafers. And... What I'm actually using this for is the Plecos here at Pet Adventures, and we're also using them for our mollies. I don't know if you guys know, but mollies come from Mexico and they thrive uh, in waters that have lots of algae. They need lots of vegetation and algae within their diet. It's very hard to find stuff that is completely veggie or completely algae, and this pretty much takes the cake. This is mostly algae, there might be some other ingredients in here, but it's really hard to find products for mollies that are completely 100% 
very healthy for them because again, they need vegetation, they need to be eating plants, they need to be eating algae, and this is a great supplement for them if you just give them algae wafers. However, I would recommend that you soak these. I haven't been doing that to be honest, but it, it can be potentially harmful maybe if you don't soak this. Um, you don't want to have anything dry in their system. Great product overall, I love it. You should go get it if you have mollies, plecos, or other bottom feeders as well. Another review I wanna talk about is the New Life Spectrum and Omega-1 uh, Beta formulas. So this is Beta Pellets, and this is Beta Buffet, or Buffet. <laughs> I like to say Buffet as an inside joke or whatever. But these are really great for betta fish. Now, a lot of people will tell you to only feed pellets to betta fish. However, I do not agree with this. I don't agree with giving basically anything pellets 100% of the time. I think that most fish, now there might be some that require mostly hard, but most fish that I have taken care of in the past should never have 100% dry stuff in their system. So I give pellets about twice a week to my betta fish, betta fish slash and amethyst and I give the rest of the week flakes. Now here's what you do, you don't have to have the flakes be at the top of the surface, the top of the water. What you can do is if you want, this is kind of more enjoyable to watch anyways, if you put your finger in the water while you're feeding pellets before you release them so they're not on top of the water then that's more enjoyable, like you can see the fish eat, you can see the betta fish eat and stuff like that. So I'm not a big supporter, however, of Omega-1. Uh, some of their products don't have the, the best stuff inside in their formulas, but Omega-1 did uh, support this uh, little betta buffet flake type formula. So overall, I give this an A+, and I also give this an A+. New Life Spectrum is a great brand, uh, and I love the the I love the pellets that they make. The pellet formula is really great. I actually support New Life Spectrum for a lot of brands, so definitely check these guys out. My next review for my fishies as well is the, this is mostly for my goldfish, but the Rapashi Solent Green. So Rapashi is a gel food that you make for your fish. They make Rapashi for lots of other types of animals, so links are gonna be all down below, down below, so you can go say it. Yes, go and check out those links down below, but wait a minute, finish this video before you go down there. Don't be skipping out. Don't be skipping out. But Rapashi is really, really great for goldfish and lots of other types of animals, so I also use Rapashi Grub Pie. Rapashi for the fish and Rapashi Grub Pie. I am a big supporter of Rapashi. They make the best ever stuff. So this is a gel food for your reptiles, Rapashi Grub Pie, and this is a gel food for your fish. I do recommend Rapashi overall as a somewhat stable diet for your, if you guys see a bunch of stuff in the way, I'm so sorry, there's like so much dust in here today because some of my stuff has dust on here, so <coughs> Rapashi for reptiles and for fish is great. Um, again, I recommend it for fish as a stable diet most of the way because it's so good on goldfish's system and stuff like that. But when it comes to Rapashi for reptiles, I do not recommend it as a stable diet. Rapashi is a great alternative for when you want to be the matreet or even better emergency uses. So if you're out of your mealworms and you're out of your, you know, crickets, you can just simply make some Rapashi make a little bit of it, stick it in the fridge when you feel like it, when you don't want to use it anymore. And this is great for your leopard geckos. I feed this to Tink and Diagon all the time and they love it. So highly recommended. You can also get Rapashi in a big one like this. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do with that. But Rapashi is also in all kinds of different forms for certain animals, animals, animals. Another thing that I want to do a review on is the forest floor bedding, uh, the cypress bedding that I use for my ball python phoenix. This is a really, really, really great substrate for ball pythons. I highly recommend it 100%. Um, the only thing I would say that is a very big downfall with it is it doesn't hold enough humidity. It'll have some humidity in it for a little while when you first put it in. Uh, you know, it's a lot better than Aspen. Aspen, from right from the start, has no humidity in it. But Cypress, your Cypress Forest Floor Mulch, 
will have humidity in it for like the first two weeks that you use it, but then it'll slowly dry out. So that's kind of a downfall, but overall it's a great bedding for ball pythons and could use it for blue tongue skinks and such. So it's really, really, really great. Highly recommended. The only fall is that it doesn't hold a lot of humidity for a long time, but it does for like the first two weeks that you put it in, you know, fresh and new. Fresh, new, and clean like Dr. Clean. Another thing that I'd like to review is the So Fresh pelleted litter that I use for my raddies for them to go potty. Um, I really love this. This is a great litter for rats. I forget how much, how big the bag is, but I'll I'll put the text here. But it's a really, really huge bag, and it lasts me like forever. I have no real bad review on this. It's made from baking soda. A lot of people say that baking soda is so harmful for your raddies. Blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, is rats are smart and they do not eat it. They, I've never seen my rats try to eat the pelleted litter. Maybe they nibbled on it when they were, <laughs> when they first came to my house or something. But other than that, I've never seen my rats ever try to eat their litter. So a lot of people will say, oh, it's so harmful for your rats if they ingest it, but again, my rats would never ever try to ingest it. Rats are smart. Let's give the ratties some credit. Why do you think they use rats for so many experiments in the labs and everything and mice? Because they're really super intelligent. They know that that's not edible, so they're not gonna even try to eat it. Great, right? I'll put the links also down below. Again, you guys, all the links that I am mentioning are gonna be down below, so go check all of those out. Great right? if you're trying to get pelleted litter. A lot of people say yesterday's news is a good one too. I haven't used it though, but yeah. I really like what I'm using now. And the last thing I'm going to review today or kind of tell you about is baby puffs for rats. So a lot of people always ask me, what is the best treats for rats? Well, I would definitely go with baby puffs. Baby puffs are great for when you're training them for tricks. They're great if you just want them to have a little snack because what's great about baby puffs is they're all natural. They're not bad at all for rats, not at all. And you can also give them to your mice. And they're even good for us to eat. like. Super good for you and for your raddies. <laughs> They're only, I think, $1.99 or something at Walmart and Target. They're baby puffs, they last quite a while. They're all natural. I get the banana flavor because my rats love banana more than any fruit on earth. They are the healthiest treat that I have done research on. So that is all the products that I am telling you guys about that I have slash reviewed. There are other products that I have too, so let me know if you guys want to kind of make this a series of some sort. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more videos like this where I show you all the products that I like to use for my animals, products that I'm using currently, and kind of my reviews on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you can be a part of the Adventures crew here. We're really cool, we love pets, and we don't judge, so come along for the ride. I gotta stop doing this. And please give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you love pets, and I will see you guys next time. 